I wanted to have a serious discussion today about legitimatizing Magic the Gathering uh, as a long-term collecting arena. Now, we need to realize a few things. When it comes to grading, it's very important for the longevity of the game and the secondary market. Um, there's a couple of other things that we need to realize that we don't pay attention to yet in the market that we really should be. One of them is provenance, and I've been discussing that lately. Uh, another one is going to be variance. Our market needs to realize that it's extremely complex. It is not maybe as long lived in history as things like um, coins or, you know, philatelic uh, stamp collection collecting. But the history of Magic the Gathering is rather complex and it's time that we start realizing how complex it is. There's variants on cards that people don't even realize even exist. So I plan on highlighting a lot of these things in the future and trying to make the market realize that this complex market, in order to have longevity, people need to realize how complex Magic the Gathering, Vintage Magic the Gathering, and even some of the newer stuff is. I'm going to be showing you a couple of variants in a moment, just uh, as a quick example. All right, let's uh, turn the camera around and check that out. All right, so this is part two to the video I made about variants and coins. Uh, you know, some variants have been recognized for a really long time, like this. You know, the light and the dark variants of a lot of Arabian Nights cards, right? Up here in the mana symbol, you can see. That's the variant, okay? Now there's some slightly more obscure ones like the Charlie Brown Tempest Medallion. I don't have that, but I have an interesting one called the Mirage variant of the Desert from Arabian Nights. Now if you look on this one right there, that's the Mirage. It's supposed to be, I don't know campfire or something they call it right so anyway then we got next anime planeswalkers right nothing crazy about them they're new except for the fact that there's a first edition print run from japan and a second edition print run from the united states and there's a major difference in the text box there's foiling on one of them and the other one is not I believe the not foiled text box is the original print run and the fully foiled card is the American print run let's see here this is a bit more subtle yeah I don't know if we're going to be able to see that So yeah, this foiling here in the text box, you can see that rainbow. That's the foil rainbow. No, we don't have that here. So yeah, this goes uh, along the same lines of my Exodus pack video where uh, I'm about to bust two Exodus packs and discuss the difference between the American and Belgian print run. So stay tuned for that bad boy.